Ever wondered what the real differences are between edge computing and cloud computing? I mean, they both involve networks and data, right? So what's the deal? Why are we even talking about two separate things? Well, my friends, it turns out there are some pretty significant distinctions between these two computing paradigms. Today, we're diving into the key distinctions that set these two computing paradigms apart. We'll break down the jargon, simplify the concepts, and by the end of this video, you'll be able to confidently explain the difference between edge and cloud to your grandma, or maybe just your tech-savvy friend. Think of it like this. Cloud computing is like having a massive centralized brain that you access remotely, while edge computing is more like having smaller, localized brains distributed closer to where the action is. Both have their strengths and weaknesses, and understanding these differences is key to choosing the right approach for your needs. So buckle up, smash that like button for the algorithm, and let's unravel this technological mystery. All right, let's kick things off by talking about where the actual computing happens, because that's at the heart of what makes edge and cloud different. Imagine a traditional data center, a giant warehouse packed with servers, humming away, processing information. That, my friends, is the cloud in a nutshell. When you're using cloud services, you're essentially renting out space on those distant servers, relying on them to handle your data and run your applications. Edge computing, on the other hand, flips the script. Instead of relying on a centralized data center, it brings the processing power closer to the source of the data, whether that's your phone, your car, or even a sensor on a factory floor. Think of it like this. If the cloud is a centralized brain, edge computing is like having a network of smaller, localized brains distributed throughout the body. Now, you might be thinking, why does it matter where the data is processed? And that's a great question. The answer lies in the next big difference between edge and cloud latency but we'll get to that in a bit. For now, just remember this. Cloud computing is centralized, with all the data processing happening in those massive data centers. Edge computing, on the other hand, is all about decentralization, bringing the processing power closer to the edge of the network, where the data is generated. Okay, remember how we talked about latency? Well, here's where things get really interesting. Latency, in the simplest terms, is the delay between you requesting something and it actually happening. It's that tiny but sometimes noticeable lag that occurs when you click a link and the website takes a second to load. In the world of computing, latency is a big deal, especially for applications that demand real-time responsiveness. Think about self-driving cars, for example. They rely on sensors to constantly collect and process data about their surroundings. If there's a significant delay between the car sensing an obstacle and the system reacting, well, you can imagine how that could end badly. This is where edge computing really shines. By processing data locally, at the edge of the network, latency is dramatically reduced. Instead of data having to travel all the way to a distant data center and back, it can be processed right then and there, in near real time. Cloud computing, while powerful, can sometimes struggle with latency-sensitive applications. Since data has to travel further, it's simply bound by the laws of physics. However, cloud providers are constantly working on improving their infrastructure and reducing latency, but it's a fundamental challenge that comes with the territory. So to sum it up, edge computing excels in situations where low latency is crucial, while cloud computing might be a better fit for applications where a bit of delay is acceptable. Now, let's talk about bandwidth. Because in the world of data, it's like the highway system. The wider and clearer the road, the faster the data can flow. But here's the thing. Bandwidth isn't infinite, and constantly sending massive amounts of data back and forth to the cloud can put a real strain on those digital highways. This is another area where edge computing can offer some serious advantages. By processing data locally, edge devices can significantly reduce the amount of data that needs to be sent to the cloud. Imagine a security camera recording footage 24 7 With edge computing, the camera could analyze the footage locally and only send alerts or relevant clips to the cloud when necessary. This not only saves bandwidth, but also reduces the load on those precious cloud resources. Cloud computing, on the other hand, relies heavily on a robust and reliable internet connection to handle the constant flow of data. While cloud providers are constantly working on optimizing their networks, if your internet connection is spotty, you might experience slowdowns or interruptions in service. So, to keep your data flowing smoothly, 
it's important to choose the right computing paradigm for the job. Edge computing can be a real bandwidth saver, especially for applications that generate large amounts of data. Cloud computing, while capable of handling massive amounts of data, might require a more robust and reliable internet connection to keep things running smoothly. All right, let's talk about scalability, because in the world of technology, the ability to grow and adapt is crucial. When we talk about scalability, we're essentially talking about how easily a system can handle increasing demands. Cloud computing, with its vast network of data centers and virtually limitless resources, is the undisputed king of scalability. Need more storage? No problem. Just spin up a few more virtual servers and you're good to go. Cloud providers make it incredibly easy to scale your resources up or down as needed, giving you incredible flexibility. Edge computing, while not as infinitely scalable as the cloud, still offers a good degree of adaptability. Remember those smaller, distributed brains we talked about earlier? Well, you can add more of those edge devices to your network as your needs grow, distributing the workload and increasing processing power. However, it's important to note that scaling edge deployments can sometimes be more complex than simply spinning up virtual servers in the cloud. It often involves deploying and managing physical devices, which can be more time-consuming and resource-intensive. So, when it comes to scalability, cloud computing takes the crown, but edge computing still offers a good level of flexibility for many applications. Now, let's get down to business and talk about security, because in this day and age, protecting your data is more important than ever. Both cloud and edge computing come with their own unique security considerations, and understanding these differences is crucial for making informed decisions about your data. Cloud computing, with its centralized nature, offers some inherent security advantages. Cloud providers invest heavily in security measures, including firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and encryption, to protect their data centers and the data stored within them. They also have dedicated security teams working around the clock to monitor for and respond to threats. However, the centralized nature of the cloud can also make it a tempting target for attackers. A successful breach of a cloud provider's systems could potentially expose the data of multiple customers, making it a high-stakes game. Edge computing, on the other hand, can offer a different approach to security. By processing data locally, Edge devices can reduce the amount of sensitive information that needs to be transmitted to the cloud, minimizing the risk of interception. However, securing Edge devices can present its own set of challenges. These devices are often geographically dispersed and may not have the same level of physical security as a centralized data center. Ensuring that these devices are properly secured and updated with the latest security patches is crucial for maintaining a strong security posture. So, when it comes to security, there's no one-size-fits-all answer. All right, we've covered a lot of ground today, but let's bring it all together and talk about when you might choose one over the other. Both cloud and edge computing have their own sweet spots, and understanding these can help you make the right decision for your needs. Cloud computing is a natural fit for applications that require massive scalability, centralized storage, and powerful processing capabilities. Think about online gaming, video streaming services, or large-scale data analysis. These applications often involve huge amounts of data and require a robust infrastructure to handle the demands of millions of users. Edge computing, on the other hand, excels in scenarios where low latency, bandwidth efficiency, and real-time responsiveness are paramount. Think about self-driving cars, industrial automation, or remote healthcare monitoring. These applications often involve time-sensitive data and require processing to happen closer to the source to minimize delays and ensure real-time decision-making. Of course, these are just a few examples, and there are many other use cases where cloud or edge computing might be a good fit. The key is to carefully consider the specific requirements of your application and choose the paradigm that best aligns with your needs. So whether it's cloud computing scalability or edge computing's low latency, each has its place in our digital world. Cloud computing provides the centralized power and flexibility to handle massive amounts of data and complex applications, while edge computing brings processing closer to the source, reducing latency and improving real-time responsiveness. Think about how these technologies can be applied in your projects or infrastructure. 
From optimizing data processing in your business to powering the next generation of smart devices, cloud and edge computing are transforming the way we live, work, and interact with the world around us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment with your thoughts. Let me know what other tech mysteries you'd like me to unravel. Register at www.coolaihub.com for further tech updates and information. Until next time, stay curious.